Hey folks, Jeff Fry here, former Major League Baseball player and your certified hitting guru. Today's drill, we're going to work on bunting. I know bunting isn't uh, a popular thing these days. It seems like it's almost been eliminated um, at the Major League level, but kids, you need to learn how to bunt. If you're going to be a good all-around hitter, you need to learn how to bunt. You never know when um, in a game situation you're called upon to bunt, and you need to get the bunt down in that situation. Your coach wouldn't he wouldn't be asking you to bunt if it wasn't important. So nobody wants to bunt. Uh, I actually enjoyed bunting during my career. I could bunt for a hit. You know, I figured 10, 15 times a year to bump up my batting average. So uh, I worked on it a lot. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, first off, um, I don't like the square around this kind of bunting. Uh, I know that's taught by a lot of people. It's kind of hard to get out of the way if the pitch is thrown at you. I prefer the, all I did was have my regular stance when I was bunting. I would just pivot like this, have my back foot off the ground, my front foot facing forward. I could get out of the way if I needed to. Um, it's very important to shorten up on your bat also. Don't hold the bat down here. You don't have as good control. So I would slide my hand up probably six to eight inches, my bottom hand. And my top hand I would hold like this, just like this on the bat, where if I foul the ball off, it doesn't hit my hand. Okay, you don't want to hold it like this, but really pinch it with these fingers just like this and hold it. You can balance it. Okay, it's very important to have control of your bat. Okay, and have the barrel above the handle or the knob. Okay, this this helps you um, kill the ball. This loose grip helps you kill the ball and also gives you the good angle. You want to keep your barrel almost like this, exaggerated like this. When you bunt it, you don't want to drop the barrel like this. Keep your hands up like this, and if it's a high pitch, lay off it. If it's a low pitch, okay, you can bunt those low pitches. All you have to do from this position is crouch down, okay? If you're not dropping the bat like this, you're letting your legs move the bat, okay? So pivot just like this, okay, toward the pitcher, and it, it helps to also um, get out in front of the plate a little bit. You don't want to be all the way back in the box. You want to be as close as you can to the front of the box. It gives you a better angle, okay? The bat determines where the ball goes, okay? If I'm bunting to first base, I'm turning my bat like this, this angle, down the first baseline, okay? Or within like three feet of the first baseline. If I'm bunting to third, I'm gonna get my bat out front with this angle right here. I try and get it down the third baseline. And, you know, it depends on the situation uh, that you're asked to bunt in. If it's a runner on second, um, no outs, and your coach or your manager is asking you to get the guy to third, you want to bunt it to the third baseman, okay? You don't want to bunt it too hard, but you want to make the third baseman field the ball. That way, third base is vacated, um, and your runner can almost walk to third base with a good bunt, okay? The other situation is if you have a runner on first, um, or first and second, sometimes the defense will switch it up a little bit um, and you'll see which guy is charging. Okay, you don't want to bunt it to the guy who's charging because they're trying to get the force out at, the, at third base or second base, okay? I would normally, if I was a runner on first base, I would try to bunt it to the first base, about halfway to first base, okay? And I would use this angle right here to try and get it down the first baseline. Remember now, we bunt strikes. We're not bunting pitches up here or pitches in the dirt, okay? Unless it's a squeeze play. Squeeze play, you got to bunt it no matter where it's at, okay? If your coach has enough confidence in you to put on a, a squeeze while you're hitting, he's got to make sure you have the sign and he trusts that you're going to get the bunt down. That should be, that should help your confidence, okay? That your manager or coach trusts you enough to put, put it on that situation. Now all you have to do is execute, okay? In that situation, you got to bunt any pitch and you have to get it down on the ground on that pitch because you may not have another opportunity to do that play because the other team's going to be ready for it, okay? So even if it's a pitch out, if it's a pitch out, it should happen a few times, I would literally throw my bat at, at the ball just to try and foul it off um, so our runner's not a, a dead duck at home. So pretty simple, okay? Just pivot like this, get your bat out front, okay? Bunting the top half of the ball because we want it to go down into the ground right away, right away. We don't want to try to bunt it back to the pitcher. If it's a squeeze, you're just trying to get on the ground the best you can anywhere. But normally a sacrifice situation, you want to direct the ball to either third base or first base and keep it away from the pitcher, okay? Just like this, right? Down, 
first base, third base. Now, if I was bunting for a hit, I would drag bunt. Okay, there's a couple of ways to do it. For me being a right-handed hitter, I would um, just drop my back leg like this and get the bat out front. See how I'm choked up again, okay? And I would wait to the last second, very last second, because I didn't want to give it away. I didn't want that third baseman. First off, I always looked at third baseman when I went up to see where he was playing. If he was deep, I was going to, and giving me a hit, I'm going to take it, you know, unless there's two outs. Two out situation, you need to try and hit a double, okay? Unless you can steal second, then you can bunt, okay? So I'm bunting for a hit now. I didn't really do the leg kick, which I hit with a leg kick during my career, but I didn't really do the leg kick before the bunt like some guys do. That was too much, too many moving parts for me. But it's pretty simple right here. Pitcher's about to let go of the ball. I would drop my back foot and try and get the bunt, a great bunt, a perfect bunt, where it's either going to be fair, for sure hit, uh, excuse me, a for sure hit or foul ball. If it's a foul ball, you know, you see, you still have a chance. Uh, so keep it away from the pitcher. Practice this, kids. Practice. Before you take any swings in the cage, you should work on your bunting. Get a bunt down to first base, a bunt down to third base, and maybe have them throw you a squeeze where at the last second you just try to get the ball down. Okay? So anyway, that's Bunting 101 by uh, Jeff Fry, your certified hitting guru and uh, founder of the She Gone Nation. So you guys have a good day. She Gone!